In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up GitHub integration with your SmartThings so you can install custom device handlers and smart apps and keep them up to date effortlessly. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, and today we are going to show you how to integrate your GitHub with your SmartThings IDE to keep all of your device handlers and smart apps up to date and install new device handlers and smart apps much easier. So the first thing you want to do is create a GitHub account. So what you're going to do is go to github.com and I'll leave a link in the video description below. And you just want to type in a username, type in your email, type in your password and click sign up. Um, after that, it's going to ask you to verify your email address and then you're all set up. I already have a GitHub account, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. All right, and once you're logged in, you're going to see something like this. Um, so you can read the guide, start a project. Um, but basically, this is what we needed to do to start um, the process. So now what you need to do is go over to your SmartThings um, Graph API. I will leave the link in the description to get to here. And once here, you're going to want to click the Login button. It's going to ask you to either log in with your Samsung account or your SmartThings account. Should be a Samsung account by now. And just log in. All right, so now we are logged in. And the, the first thing you want to do is always go to My Locations and choose your main location or the location that you want to work in. And when you come in um, to either My Device Handlers or My Smart Apps, you're going to see this button at the top right hand corner that says Enable GitHub Integration. So all you want to do is click that button. You've already got your GitHub account. Um, and then it's going to walk you through the steps. Super easy. Just click, um, click the links here. So you click the um, link. It's going to take you over to your GitHub. And it's going to say SmartThings by SmartThings Community wants to access your account. Um, and it's going to give you um, access to all this stuff here and you're just going to click this authorize smart things community and now that you've made that integration you can um, commit changes which we're not going to cover in this video you can update from the repo and install from the repo and you can also add new repos so if we go into update from repo and we're on the smart app menu and we click on the smart things public master it's going to automatically bring in all of the smart apps that are available to instantly download um, so rather than searching all over the place um, for all of this code it's all right in your smart things already and then all you would need to do is if you wanted to um, install one you just check it off click on the publish at the bottom and click execute update now you can see that it has installed um, the work from home smart app and over here it tells you which github repository it's in that it's published let's take a look at mine so we're going to go to my locations and we're going to go to home and we're going to go to my device handlers um, so you can see um, that i have most of them here um, are linked to a github repository and you really want to do that um, if you can um, so i have a couple here that aren't and you can see that they are a green color so file re is not in any repository that's what it's telling you um, so let's try and find um, 
this peanut plug and let's search GitHub for this um, person's name and see if we can figure out which repository that's in. So I'm gonna go back over to GitHub and you can go back to the home page. Let's just go into here. Um, so we found um, this person's name. And if we click on his name, um, it will kind of take us back to here. And now you can see um, here is the peanut plug. So if we click on this, um, what we want to do is we want to take his name. And the branch is going to be master. And this is going to be um, what we need to add to smart things so let's do that let's add this in here so we're going to hit copy here and we're going to go to the settings at the top click on the plus sign and we're going to add a new repository and we're going to put in that person's name and then we need to get the this part here and then we just need to save this all right so that is saved um, now you can see that nothing has been done um, here it's still not found in any repository so what we need to do is go back up to the top and click update from repo and this is the smart things peanut plug that we just added click on that and now you can see that we have um, one that needs to be updated so we're going to check that off and we're going to click publish and we're going to click execute update now if we go down you can see um, that this is now identical and it's now linked. So if this person were to go in and change this code or update it or fix a problem or add a feature, all we would need to do is come back over here, click the um, update button and it would automatically update. Um, you just need to choose you know, the right repo, of course, um, which it will tell you um, which ones are out of date um, here. Um, so let's do that one more time. Let's go and find this code. So we're going to search for this username. And um, see how it says in this repository? So it's searching for the repository. Just click on the next option, all GitHub. And that will search the entire site. Let's see here. All right, here we go. So we just click on this. And now you can see um, under the device types, he has all of these device types right in here. And notice this isn't part of the smart things. Um, so by connecting to his um, rep repository here, um, you're going to be able to get all of this stuff effortlessly onto your smart things as well. So let's go ahead and add um, this. So we're just going to copy his name here. And we're going to click settings at the top again. Add a new one. That. Make sure it's master here. And grab this part. Click save. All right. Then we're going to hit update from repo in Xiaomi here. Click that. So it's going to tell you over here that this um, code right here is um, updated in GitHub. So we're going to click that off. Um, click publish. And then we're going to go ahead and click execute update. Now you can see that our button is now set up and ready to be um, synced and updated in the future. Now if you did not have this um, installed, 
um, let me show you how you would have to do this. So say we wanted to um, install this motion sensor um, and we did not set up the GitHub integration. What we'd have to do is we would have to go to GitHub. We would have to um, find the device type. Um, so we have motion sensor and we would have to open the motion sensor code. Um, then we would have to click raw. We would have to copy all of this code here. Someone worked very hard on. So we're going to have to copy that. Then we're going to have to go back to our smart things. Then we're going to have to add create new device handler top here. Um, you're going to click from code. You're going to paste that code. Then you're going to hit create. Once it's created, um, you need to save it and publish it. All right. And now if we go back to our device handlers, we should have two of these. Um, so here's the one that I just added manually. And here's the one that I just added automatically using the repo. So you can see how much easier it is. Now I went through the manual way pretty quickly, but I mean, to do it using the integration, you just click here, you click here, you choose the one you want, you click publish and execute, and you're good to go. And you have all of the other stuff that this person um, put together as well. Um, so it just really makes everything so much easier and faster. Well, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them right in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you in the next video.